ATB at Dick Levitt Swindon. It's the 296 that's doing the rounds. It started off at HRO in London and now it's progressed to Swindon, to Dick Levitt's in Swindon. It's the same car, presumably they're delivering the car by closed transport. Um, and uh, this particular model has the Assetto Furiano pack. So we're not really sure of the schedule for today's event. There's a specific unveiling, I believe. Our schedule is to be there for 5 p.m. and it runs from five o'clock to six o'clock. So I believe that they'll have a single unveiling and then you get to have a look around the car. Now the, the 296 GTP in its standard format is around 830 brake horsepower and it is a, a, v, a twin turbo V6 hybrid system so it's taken a lot of technology from the SF90 so with regards to performance it sits just below the F8 Tributo which has a top end of around 211 miles per hour so this model would seem to be the introduction of the hybrid systems into the mainstream Ferrari lineup when I say mainstream I mean the actual mainstream supercar lineup mid-engines supercar lineup So we're not far away from Dick Lovitz now. Hopefully we'll be able to get some video footage and some pictures. Um, if we can, then we'll obviously put them in here. If not, then we'll see you after the event. So before he actually revealed the 296, they went go, they go through and just showed you some of the old classic cars. There's 550, 550 Barchetto there, which was awesome, um, really nice car, um, which is obviously when they'd gone through their Classic range and had been fully renovated. So the, the Barchetta was one of 499 in the world, and then he talked us through the different uh, modern Ferraris that exist. So the SF90 the 812, the Roma, Portofino M, uh, the F8 as well, the F8 Tributo. And just, just previous to the actual reveal of the 296, we were asked to sit down and put on some virtual reality goggles. And the virtual reality goggles took us through the history of Ferrari. And it showed you some snippets of them um, doing some of the work and how the cars go through the actual workshop being, being developed and being built for the engine and the actual bodies of the cars and then after the, the virtual reality tour then the 
the, the actual presenter took us through and um, actually revealed the 296. And initial thoughts of the 296 are it looks a little bit uh, shorter than the F8 Tributo. Obviously the F8 Tributo is going to be the one you're going to compare it to. And it looked a bit more narrow. Now whether it is more narrow or not is another thing. Uh, the, the boot space seems to be quite constrained compared with the, the um, 458. Inside I'd heard that the actual leg room was quite constrained. Now that's true in the in the passenger, that's true, that's true in the passenger compartment. Um, my knees were actually quite heavily bent. I'm six foot one and most of my height is actually in my legs. But when I got in the driver's seat, I was actually all right for room. I was pleasantly surprised. There was actually quite a bit of leg room. And I, my knees weren't up against the side of the steering wheel. So it was very good. And you do notice, obviously it was a left-hand drive car, as you'll see from the pictures that we took and the video we took. Um, the, 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 the pedals, the pedal box is actually slightly to the right. So you've got part of the old style, you've got part of the old style Italian um, driving position there. Uh, but inside it was very modern, as you can see from the pictures, very modern um, and you know, very ergonomic, um, very, very well, very, very beautifully designed. Thankfully, no whacking great iPad in the middle of the car like the Roma has. I think that's um, not very good at all. Thankfully, they've come away from that. And as you can hear, when they started it up and revved it, and yes, it's within a constrained environment, so the sound is going to be a bit a bit um, artificial with regards to its echo and such like because it's within a, a constrained building but i've got to admit the sound was really good it sounded awesome and you know so clearly ferrari can make a force-fed ferrari sound very good and you've got the you've got a v6 therefore it's not a v8 it's force-fed so obviously turbocharged and you've got particulate filters so those three things would would limit the sound but the sound is actually awesome so they've done a a real impressive job on making making the car sound fantastic sounds really good and you know with the with the performance around 800 brake horsepower it's going to be crazy quick so all, overall impressions yeah i really liked it the uh, assetto friano pack was was very good addition i think probably 70 percent of people will purchase the car with the assetto friani option and the assetto friani option is 30,000 pounds so it's quite a substantial ad, but not a crazy ad. I guess it depends what that pack actually provides, apart from uh, the option of the um, of the colour stripe. So my overall perception of the car is positive. Really liked it. If I had the money, maybe. I haven't got the money. And uh, if I did have the money, then I may put it into something else. But um, um, initial perceptions from, from people. Is, um, is very positive. Bloody Vodafone again. So we're just coming back, we're just arriving back now. Um, overall, as I say, over, overall impressions, very positive. Uh, very much like the 296. Didn't think I would, but I but really liked it. I think Ferrari have done a great job on the 296. And just pulling into my driveway. So, yeah, so um, very impressed with the 296. Didn't think I'd be as impressed as I am. Very different in the flesh. Um, the, the cabin inside is, yeah, it's quite snug, very well fitted out, and it is quite snug, but it's, it fits around you. I think it's, you know, it's, it's designed to be that way, where the car fits around you more um, than compared with the F8 Tributo. Everything's at hand. The steering wheel, obviously you've got the electronics interfaces now with the touch control pads on the actual steering wheel and the track pad to, to um, set up your, your wing mirrors to, 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 uh, to um, coordinate the orientation of your wing mirrors and such like. Um, I haven't, didn't, didn't get to actually try those out. They, might, they started the car, but the car um, wasn't actually a version that you can drive, although that car will be sold at a later time. Uh, that particular car you can't take out on the road and drive. It is limited um, electronically. But, uh, but yeah, overall impressions, extremely good. Well done, Ferrari. Very impressed. So if you like the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and, and you select like. If you're not subscribed, then please think about subscribing already if you like the content. Plenty more great content to come. 
thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video